Hey guys, have you ever wanted to make your own Minecraft mod pack but you didn't know how to and you just wanted an easier way to play modded Minecraft with a bunch of mods added into it and you know you want to play with your friends or you just want to post it, post your mod pack on like you know websites like Curse Forge and such? Well today's your lucky day because I can help you with that. So let's get started by just downloading Curse Forge onto your computer which will be linked in the description down below and after that you should have you know Minecraft available right now. If it doesn't for some reason doesn't show up, well, well, you can. There's a simple solution. You can scan for the game through whatever uh, one of your hard drives or SSD cards, whatever, or you can manually add it. But you should have Minecraft because there shouldn't be any issues with that. First things first. Great custom profile. And you see, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. No, you can import one, but we're not going to do that because you have nothing right now. You could import one, you just search for the Curse Forge, whatever. But we don't have one right now. But we're gonna make our own. Let's name it. Let's name it. Let's just call it something simple. Sniffle. Right? We just named it Sniffle, you know, because it's our name. Why not? You can name it whatever you want. I'm probably gonna name it, you know, horror, because I've been doing a lot of horror related videos. More of that coming soon. But anyway, so we're gonna choose our own Minecraft version. Uh we're gonna choose, you know this one because why not because i don't want to play any newer version actually the best one to play with is 1.18.2 1.19.2 and you know are very classic ones if you keep going down 1.12.2 if you're like a you know an oldie and such but we're going to start off like something simple i'm going to do 1.20.1 because there's some mods that i want to add to it unless it doesn't exist anyways you guys like playing on forge i do too you like playing on fabric you're cool too don't know what that is i don't know what that is it's not even available for this apparently it's available for this which i saw but i don't think we care about that and then there's vanilla if you want to be a vanilla person you can play vanilla but we're going to stick with 1.21.1 because there's some mods that i want to try out with and because you know the man from the fog got a new update now we'll be recording that but anyways let's press create now we're over here we got no mods we got no resource packs Zero worlds and shaders. This will come later. I will explain about this later. But first things first is um, mods. Now, you can basically search up anything you want from here, you know, get some life quality mods. But do you know you're confused? You know, this is a good starter to have because, you know, you get to know every recipe in the game. Um, if you care about your food and hunger wants to look cool and different if you want to add that i'm not pressing that journey's map adds a map and this adds descriptions to enchantments nature compass lets you teleport anywhere in biomes but and waystones because i've used this a lot in one of my mod packs when i'm playing with friends so useful to have them in villages let's add that but other than that, you can scroll on the, through the entire list looking for mods, but you want to look for something more specific. You have a, a, a name for a mod you want to think here. This is where you search up your mods. You know, Man from the Fog. That's what have you been playing a lot of. Uh, I guess it... Okay, I must have spelt it wrong, but... Lost Cities is also a cool one. This is a very cool generation. Well, although I do not want to add that. Although a city? That's pretty cool. But anyway. Let's try to find. I think it's called D Man. You search the real one. But anyways, um, after that, you can you can continue adding a bunch of things and whatnot. I'm probably gonna play around with this a bit. But if you want to know anything, you can go through what pop that one. Well, close that out. You can go through popularity features, latest updates, name. You don't want a certain name. Oh, okay. That's cool. <laughs> That's funny looking. Uh, author. Total of downloads, main category, game version, and such. You can also press filters. I don't know why it's just locked, but clear. Just press clear all. And close that too, because like, ooh, it doesn't matter what version you're on, as long as you're able to look the Forge. But make sure you have Forge, because like you're looking game version. Uh, we're gonna censor on 1.21. You can. You don't, this doesn't matter. That doesn't matter actually it does matter because like you don't want to download the wrong thing now don't you? now here's the categories add-ons adventure api armors and tools cosmetics this goes on there's certain mods you want to go there's an entire gen world gens you want world gens biomes dimensions mobs ores resources everything everything you need then you want to look for more something more specific then it would be right here in filters 
Now, let me go ahead and play around with this. This, you know, I'll be a bit quiet and mess around with this. Also, quick thing. You guys know the difference between client and server? Client means uh it will be shown on your it will be shown on your screen and your screen open. And <clears throat> oh my god. I have to read real quick. Client will means that it will show on your screen and your screen only. And also on server screens, if you're making a server or whatever. So if it's only server only, it will show throughout the entire server. It's only client only, it's gonna show through the only client. So yeah, that's what basically, so basically resource packs if they if they want to download it will be only for client. I don't know why I get that. Yeah. But yeah, same with like shade well shaders you need Optify or for most of them. Or you know if you know another thing, I'm not a, like a shader person. I always use Optify. Unless there's another thing I have to use, then I will get very confused on how to use it. There's also worlds. If you want, there's like tons of worlds you can use. That doesn't matter. I think I explained so much about this. Let's make our mod pack now. Alright, I'm back and after messing around and such and adding a bunch of things that shouldn't be necessarily added, we're now going to do the one thing that we should have test that we're going to we're going to test it out. We're going to test it out basically. I'm going to press play. It should be on my other screen, so I'm going to move it here. Should be loading up. Wait for it to load. Make sure you're on the right one. Just press play. I understand. Press play. Now we wait to see and pray that it hopes it works because we added a bunch of mods that we shouldn't have added to begin with. There were just a bunch of... We, we, we were just having fun. We, we, we really were just having fun with it. But that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. Right? Because... Oh, wow. Okay, okay. Look what we're working with. Okay. This is probably going to eat my RAM and my CPU. Who cares? All right, we got a bunch of... We really... <laughs> I have a beefy computer. It should work. All right, I, I doubt if, you, if I... I don't doubt anyone else. Press enter don't ever talk to me like that anyway. So ignore that. Yeah, you almost... Anyways, I did you probably wondering what is all this. No, you probably. Would. Oh, but anyway, it works. It works. Hello there. Whoa. Okay, that is loud. Sound. Uh, weather down. That down. Press done. Wow. After all that, it. Wow. Where even are we? Oh yeah, since we're in it's a Christmas themed world. Dole rush. What the Whoa, 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 whoa. Good thing I didn't add a mod where you immediately start freezing. Oh, unenhanced visuals works too. Wow, my Minecraft world is so good. And the sounds just makes the world I don't know why they're just mobs walk oh yeah it's probably because it's just snowing constantly anyways I can't wait oh my gosh strays that's gonna be annoying wow this is so cool oh yeah we can't play the regular way because I think I added a mod where you can't punch trees Ah, this is the end of me, huh? Oh my god. I hate this game. No! No! Yeah, blow up! Alright, guys, you know, it was our best attempt. You know, we didn't even get to play fully, but yeah. Uh, upload this into Curse Verge. You press export, it will export everything from here. Uh, you don't have to do all that. Just make sure it also downloads the configs, mods, resource packs, and if you have shader packs, it will also and it will export to whatever folder you want to export it to. I'm gonna upload it to my co folder, and then it will be done. And then you can just post it on Curse Forge. Will I switch over to my next screen? I'll post it on Curse Forge. If you don't know how to curse, post it on Curse Forge. Cool. Select a game. Minecraft. Minecraft. So the category mod packs name Th this is this is the very difficult part because you gotta put up a summary a summary name description I won't, I won't have you do all that I will I'll do that on my own time 
choose a logo you have to have a logo select the category and then you press start project but it won't let me because i have to put them up with a name call it sniffles happy land that wasn't very happy summary this is this is a very happy land about happy 